Well, tonight, well wishes pouring in for State Senator Eddie Lucio Jr. of Brownsville. He announced his retirement today. Hidalgo County Judge Richard Cortez releasing a statement that reads in part, the significance of the retirement cannot be overstated. He has been a public servant for more than 50 years. I congratulate him on his retirement. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick also reacting to the news, saying Senator Lucio leaves big shoes to fill. The bar will be set very high for his successor. Channel 5's Stephanie Rosales spoke with the retiring state senator today about his public service. Eddie Lucio Jr. was first elected to the Texas State Senate in 1991. But his time serving the public, including stints as a teacher and as a state representative, covers more than 50 years. Today, he recalled one of his fondest memories, helping to bring the Regional Academic Health Center to Harlingen. So that you can get the maximum of support and consideration when you're working on issues that are important to you, for your district. He came through. I got the money. And it grew into what is the medical school today. Lucio says he is retiring because he wants to address the needs of his family, but he will always be there for the community. And my neighbors, whoever needs my help, I'm still there. But, but it, mostly, I, I wanna, I wanna make sure I'm, I'm close to my wife, who has been very generous with her time for me. His son, State Representative Eddie Lucio III, sharing some of his own special experiences. Obviously, UTRGB was a huge, huge accomplishment. And attached to that was medical education in the Rio Grande Valley. We worked on transportation issues, trade issues, water issues. Like his father, Lucio III, also choosing not to seek re-election in 2022. It was just time I, for me and him independently. That, that was not something that we coordinated. Uh, my family's young and they've sacrificed for, for me to be able to serve in office. And people we spoke to say he's been a great advocate for South Texas, but they can understand why he is retiring. We've known that Eddie Lucio has served our community for a long time now. I know the community appreciates everything that he's done for all of us, and I wish him a wonderful retirement. I think he's done a good job. Okay. Hope that, uh, hope that we'll find somebody as good or better than what he's got he's done for so far. Lucio says he will miss what he does, but he will continue paying attention to the needs of people. And he has plans after he finishes his term. We do have plans to set up a ministry, a ministry that will see me going into Las Colonias, talking to people, trying to see if we can help families with the issues that they're facing. That was our Stephanie Rosales reporting. She alluded to uh, the senator filling out his term. He will retire after finishing out his current term, and that term finishes up in January of 2023.